So the next company is, is basically the one I introduced earlier. Um, Mr. Nobel uh, and the company Heatcore. And um, let's see if uh, we will have a new foundation after your success. I hope so. We hope so. Welcome to so. Stage Shows. Thank you. I'm the clicker. Uh, thanks a lot. Um, good afternoon to all of you. I'm Peter Nobel. I'm the uh, co-founder and um, um, CEO of the Heatcore company. We are a startup since a few years' time, and we are located in Sweden. Uh, I thought it's best to go directly to what we want. We are looking for an investment of 2 million euros and, uh, from an investment party. And uh, for finance, uh, finance uh, a quite recent project we have obtained in France. And also to, uh, uh, to, uh, to, to grow for the first 2% market share. With the uh, strong product we have, we feel and believe that we have a very good chance to uh, obtain very high sales level over time, and uh, based on the, and, and, and further grow on, 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 on the very, very strong um, uh, financial uh, structure that will ensure that we will get a, a quite quick return on investments. So what we have developed is uh, what we call an ultra-compact uh, catalytic heat engine for the European uh, gas uh, boiler industry that produces uh, heating appliances that are gas-driven for residential uh, sector. Um, the market here is um, uh, very big. Uh, there are approximately 150 million uh, units installed on the market uh, that uh, in total consume about 25% of the total energy consumption in Europe. Uh, the platform is renewed every year by 7 million new units by a handful of uh, producers. There are about 10 uh, different uh, OEM brands that control 70% of the market. Uh, <clears throat> there is a big problem for the market right now. There are more stringent uh, rules coming out in uh, 2018 and 2019 that will stipulate even lower NOx emissions and higher efficiency for the boilers. Um, what this means for the best uh, boiler standards today is that they run the risk to, to get downgraded from a green label to a yellow label. So better technology is therefore needed to get integrated uh, into uh, uh, a very compact, co already very compact boiler appliances today. And that's here we are coming into the picture. Um, so here we can see from this uh, installation, installation example how we can reduce 70% of weight and space relative to the best competing unit in the market today. Um, so this will, of course, um, um, at the same time, we are delivering better performance in terms of um, emissions and also efficiency. As, uh, and, of course, the comparison is made on the same uh, heat output. So um, uh, the space you can see here uh, that is left here is, can be used for other very important purposes to enhance the performance of the future boilers in the, the next years. So uh, what, is, what are the, then the benefits for the different individual manufacturers? Um, with our boiler, uh, with a more compact boiler with our unit integrated, uh, the production cost can be reduced by up to 30% by, by reducing uh, the direct material cost uh, through less uh, piping works, uh, smaller cabinet and so on. And of course the processing cost of the boiler. But also the uh, individual consumers will see uh, an upside with, uh, with our unit or with, with a, a new generation of boiler, where a saving of 4 to 5% uh, on the energy bills can be achieved. Uh, the reason why we can make it so compact as we're doing it is um, based on a combination of two different technologies here. We, are, we have developed a superior heat exchanger, uh, gas to water heat exchanger that we combine with a catalytic uh, combustion principle that drives uh, the catalytic, uh, that drives the, the, the uh, uh, combustion under condi uh, catalytic conditions. So these two, co uh, these two technologies together reduce the uh, the size of the function by, by 70% in comparison to what is used today. So, um, <coughs> to, in order to enter the market, it's, um, 
it's a very hard market to enter, I can say. Uh, you need to do, you need to prove do two things. One is, of course, you have to prove that you, you have a very robust and well-tested product, and at the same time, you have to demonstrate the, that you are capable to su to supply the, the the volumes for at least the initial volumes. So um, our strategy to enter the market is to uh, to uh, drive the two things in parallel, which takes a lot of efforts and costs a lot of money, of course. Uh, but the, the 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 situation right now is we are we are running a, together with market leaders uh, lifetime endurance tests, and we are continuing in driving the the build up of of our our pilot plant, which uh, partly is dependent on the proposed investments. So, uh, I hope that you share with me that this could be a good uh, investment opportunity, so I would be happy to, to discuss it further with you. So, thank you for the attention. Thank you, Peter. So, um, you told me in the, in the break that you already have some customers. Yeah. Well, uh, how secret is that, or could you elaborate a little bit on it? Well, yeah, we, we have a, a, a customer uh, uh, coming up now in France. It's not exactly for the, for the boiler type, but it's for, for a competing product to condensing boiler. A new generation of ge uh, uh, gas heat pumps will be released on the market. So it's for, for, that, uh, for, for that project. And the project is, uh, contains about 10 million euros for, for, uh, from 2017 to 2019. Okay. Approximately 10 million. Euros. So you have almost like a fixed thing. If you invest in your company, you will get. Revenue so what quite we need soon. is well, what I try to communicate is the uh, the um, uh, the investment is meant for building up the manufacturing capability in the first um, as a priority. Okay, perfect. Please okay. meet Peter in the break, uh, and maybe for an autograph. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No? Okay. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.